Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to return all prime numbers less than 1000 and then format the output where it's the prime number separated with an ampersand character. Here you can see the output that we'll create. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Here is the URL. Here is the repository. Look for a file called print prime numbers.sql. Now this question was taken from hacker rank challenges. Look for challenge print prime numbers and here's the solution. Let's do it. Let's begin with the SQL statement. Now the first thing we need to do is get a list of numbers and we want that between 2 and 1000. So how can we do that? We can say select number from master.dbo.spt values right here where number is between 2 and 1000 and type equals p well how, how do i know all this ready i'm going to come up here and replace that with star and i'm just going to execute this and you can see here that I get a name, the number, that's the kind of column I want to see, type, low high status. So notice I only want the number column. And notice there's another column called type, and we only want that to be of type P. So with number and type, we can get this unique set of numbers. So I'm going to come here and say number, type is P, let's re-execute. And notice now that we have a number list between 2 and 1,000. Let's now wrap our select statement inside of a CTE. I'm going to call it all numbers CTE. My return field will be number, so I can place number there. This is optional. You don't need that. And then we're going to say select star from the CTE just so we can see that that, that works. Notice everything works fine. Let's continue. So after our first CTE, put a comma, and then we have an additional CTE. This one I'm going to call it squared numbers CTE. So I'm going to select number, and then I'm going to take the square root of that number, and I'm going to alias it as SQRT number from all number CTE from this guy. And then I can actually do a select statement from this CTE. And let's see what that looks like. You can see we have our number and then we have the square root of that number here. But this fractional part is unnecessary. So what I'd like to do is I would like to turn this into an integer. And how do I do that? Well, I can use the cast method. I can say cast the square root of that number and then ask, now what is my data type I want? Well, int, and then we can keep using this alias and let's re-execute this. And there's the output. Are you ready to begin the last step? Let us now look at lines 36 to 43. Here is the meat of the program. I'm gonna use these two CTEs to figure out what are the prime numbers. So I'm gonna select number from this last squared numbers CTE and then not exist. So if I find a pattern in here that evaluates to zero, then that number is not prime. So I only want to find stuff I cannot find. And that is what would be prime. So notice here is my output, two, three, five, seven, eleven. These are prime numbers. When I executed this subquery, I could not find this where number equals zero for three, five, seven, eleven, and such. There are always one, two, three, and some other number other than zero. So this right here kind of gets us almost all the way home. So I've found all the numbers, prime numbers less than 1000. Now I need to format the output to have ampersands in between it. And instead of being on single lines, I want it all on the same line. Let's see how I solve that. On line 17, we're using string ag. Now string ag is short for string aggregate. It's used to concatenate strings from multiple rows 
into a single string. Then you can see I'm using cast number. Remember, numbers coming from that square root CTE, and I'm turning that into a varchar 5. Now, finally, you can see between each number there will be an ampersand character. Now, that ampersand is just being concatenated onto this new string pattern. Normally, we use the ampersand as the concatenator, but here we're only using it as a string. Notice that when I change ampersand to the dot, I just get dots between the characters. But this question is saying, hey, I would like to see the ampersand character between each of the numbers. And remember, we had to convert that number to a, to a varchar because numbers can't be directly concatenated. And there you have the solution for this problem. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. Until the next video, take care.